Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about graphing system of linear equations. So before we start our discussion today, special shoutout nga pala kay Kate Pitumandong, a grade 8 student, pati na rin kay Jesha Wimpenya, a grade 9 student from Sampaguita Village National High School, San Pedro, Laguna. So, puntahan na natin ngayon kung paano mag-graph ng system of linear equations. So, ano ba yung importance ng pag-graph or ano ba yung importance na alam natin on how to graph system of linear equations? Basically, uh, you can benefit from this kind of topic or this video tutor tutorial kasi matututunan nyo kung paano mag-solve ng systems of linear equation gamit yung graphical method. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here a given direction. Graph the system of equations. We have the first system, which is y is equal to 2x plus 2, and the other is x minus y is equal to 1. And the number 2, we have 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. 4x plus y is equal to 24. So, simulan natin kung paano siya gawin. Now, we have here the first given system of linear equations that is y is equal to 2x plus 2, and then you have x minus y is equal to 1. So, sir, ano ba yung ma advice mo sa amin na method na mas madaling gamitin on how to graph linear equations into variables? So, in my own opinion, I will recommend graphing linear equations into variables kapag ang, give, ang hanapin nyo lang yung slope and y-intercept. Meaning, you need to transform each equation into the form y is equal to mx plus b. Kasi para sa akin, eh, yun yung pinakamadaling way on how to graph a linear equation to variables. So, try natin. A look at example number one, or the first equation. You have y is equal to 2x plus 2. Kung manonotice nyo agad, this equation, or the first equation, is already in the form of slope-intercept form. We're in... Kapag yung ating given linear equation in two variables is already in this in that form, madali mo na mahanap ngayon yung value ng slope. Yung slope mo, which is m, which is, in this given equation, your slope is equal to 2. And then, your y-intercept na b is equal to 2. And then, yung coordinates ito is basically 0, 2. So later on, we will be using those information para mag-graph mag natin yung equation nata. Now, let's focus with item number 2 or example number 2. We have x minus 2. x minus y is equal to 1. So, basically, ang target natin is to follow this pattern. Meaning, we need to isolate the variable y. Transpose natin si y, si x, sorry, sa right side of the equation, it will give you negative y is equal to negative x plus 1. And then, as you can see, this one is positive and this y is negative. So, we need to do something para maging positive yan. Simply multiply the whole equation by negative 1. And then, lahat ng terms natin, it will change its signs. So, you have y is equal to x minus 1. Ito na ngayon yung ating slope-intercept form ng second equation. So, kung ganyan na yung state ng inyong equation, you can have the value of your slope, which is 1. Mayroon ditong 1, invisible 1. And then, yung iyong y-intercept b is equal to negative 1. We're in. The coordinates of that y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Kapag nakuha mo na information about the slope and the y-intercept, you're ready to graph that system sa ating Cartesian plane. Okay? Sir, paano po ba? So, let's start with this one. You have 0, 2. So, since you have a y-intercept, meaning you need to plot those coordinates within the y-axis. Tandaan niya na, within the y-axis. So, 0, 2, starting from 0, dito yung kanyang location. You have 0, 2. Next, yung slope. Sir, paano naman yung yung slope natin? We are aware that your slope, 2, is equivalent to 2 over 1. 
which is this will be your rice over red. So, lagagawin natin from this point, from 0, 2, we need to locate another point using your slope. Kasi hindi tayo makapag-draw ng line without the second point. So, ang rise natin is equal to 2. So, basically, mag-move tayo ng 2 units. 1, 2. Again, from the first point, we need to move 1, 2 units because your rise is equal to 2. Now, for the run, since ang run natin is positive, ang movement natin is papunta sa right. From this, mag-move tayo ng 1, 1. This will be the location of your second point. So if that is the location of your second point, you will be able to draw a straight line using these two points that we have. So we have our line. Okay. So bear with me. Okay. Extend it into part na to. Now, we are done with the first example, our first equation. Let's plot or graph the second equation using this information. So, you adding y-intercept is 0, negative 1. So, within the y-axis yan, ang negative natin is the lower part, meaning ito siya. Yan. Yan yung first point natin. Now, using your slope, which is 1, m is equal to 1. You are aware that 1 is also equal to 1 over 1. For that, it's express as fractional form. Meaning, this is your rise over run. You rise mo from this point, and then rise ha, so mag-move ka ng 1 unit. Okay? Ulitin natin, yung rise mo is equal to 1, mag-move ka ng 1 unit. And then, yung, yung run is positive, therefore, you will be moving one unit from left papunta ngayon sa right. This will be the location of your second point. So given those points, you can draw a straight line na. Sige, draw, mag -draw tayong straight line. So I hope na maging perfect yung ating line. Draw tayong straight line. Extend that into so there it is. Yan. Yeah. In graph. So as you can see, we have a point of intersection. Ito na ngayon yung isingit ko lang. Ito na ngayon yung mismo um, magiging solution ng ating given system. Kaya tayo dapat matuto mag graph. Kasi malilaman natin. What are or what is the possible solution for the given system of linear equations? So, the Gatin label. The first line is the graph of y is equal to 2x plus 2. Important din na lagyan natin ng label. This is the graph of x minus y is equal to 1. So, ito naman ay 0, negative 1. So, I hope na sa first example pa lang natin, you already know how to do it. Okay? So, let's move on with the next one. I have here example number 2. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to, two is equal to negative 2. And then you have 4x plus y is equal to 24. So, basically, you need to follow this pattern. y is equal to mx plus b. So, the first equation is not yet in that form. So, kailangan natin gumawa ng paraan para matransform siya sa ganyang form. So, you have 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 2. So, what will you do is to transpose this one to the other side of the equation. It will give you 3y is equal to negative 2x minus 2. Then, right after this, kailangan mo i-divide both sides by 3. Okay, by 3. Then, y is equal to negative 2x over 3 minus 2 over 3. Okay? So, ano nga yung value natin slope? Your slope here is equal to negative 2 over 3 at yung, yung y-intercept b is a fraction. 
negative 2 over 3. Yan. Okay, and then ang kanyang coordinates ay 0, comma, negative 2 over 3. Now, let's move on with the next one. We have 4x plus y is equal to 24. Now, transpose sa kabila ito, it will give you y is equal to negative 4x plus 24. So here, your slope is equal to negative 4. Your y-intercept is equal to 24. Sorry, this is letter B. Which is a kind of coordinate size here, the comma, 24. Now, to graph the second system of linear equations, na notice ko kasi na medyo matas yung value na ating y-intercept, which is 24, so, I have decided na baguhin yung ating graph or yung ating Cartesian plane. So, ito nag-create ako ng panibago. So, una, let's have the first information. We have 0, negative 3. So, a lot of us are viewing, viewing this kind of y-intercept as difficult kasi fraction. Right? But do not worry. Even though that is a fraction, you can do something about it para mas mad maging madali lang siya. So imagine, tandaan mo lang, kapag y-intercept along the y-axis, so, sir, sir, paano pa yun? You have 0 and negative 2 over 3. Fraction po yan. Wala po tayong negative 2 over 3. So, don't worry kasi, alam naman natin na ang ating negative 2 over 3 is between 0 and negative 1. So zoom in ko lang muna ating, ano, yung ating presentation. If your y-intercept is equal to 0, negative 2, 2 over 3, we can divide 1 unit, itong 1 unit na to, into 3 equal parts. Gawin natin ganito, 1, ito, yan. We can divide it into two, 3 equal parts para mapuntahan natin yung negative 2 over 3. Sir, bakit 3 equal parts? Because your denominator is 3. Tama? So, gagawin natin, yung ating two, negative 2 over 3 ay nandito kasi ito ay negative Itong part na ito, ah, negative ano yan? Negative one-third. So, ito ngayon yung iyong placement ng negative 2 over 3. And then, given na meron kang slope na y, slope is equal to negative 2 over 3, your m is equal to negative 2 over 3, which is yung iyong rise over run. Pwede mang gawin dyan, you will, be trans you will be putting negative sign sa numerator, which is yung 2 ang magiging negative. So kung yan ay naging negative, tandaan nyo na hindi ito ang second unit. Hindi yan ang one unit ha. Isipin mo rin na kailangan mo rin isubdivide itong bawat units dito. I-divide mo rin sa 3 equal parts. Okay? So, sabi sa atin na rise, which is negative 2. So, ito yung 1, 2. Ayan yung second unit natin. Sa so, 2 thirds din. Tapos, ang inyong run is equal to positive 3. So, movement mo yan ay sa kanan. So, you have from this point, 1, 2, and 3. Dito ngayon yung placement na yung second point para makapag-draw ka ng straight line. So, erase na natin to And draw a straight line. So, draw lang tayo natin straight line. Oops. I erased it. Draw tayo natin straight line. Yeah. Extend din natin to So, yan yung graph na ating first equation. Now, let's move on with the next equation. We have 0, 
24. Kaya ko siya nilakihan, itong graph natin, kasi ang laki nung ating y-intercept. So, y-axis. Ito yan, 0, 24. This is the location of the first point. Yung, yung y-intercept. Lagyan natin dito, ano? 0, negative 2 over 3. Ito naman ay 0, 24. So, ang yung slope naman is negative 4. So, we can say that m is equal to negative 4 is also equivalent to negative 4 over 1. Ito ang iyong rise over run, which is negative 4. From this point, mag-move tayo ng 4 units downward. Tanda na, 4 units downward because it is negative. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, ang iyong run is 1. So, one move, one move papunta sa right. Ito na yung second point. Right after this, kailangan mo na i-graph. Graph natin. Draw tayo straight line. I hope na maging straight talaga siya. As you can see, mayroon silang point of intersection. Pero hindi natin talaga task na hanapin yung kanilang point of intersection. Ang task natin is to graph only the system of linear equation. So, this is the graph of the second equation. Kapag sa inyo main point of intersection, ibig sabihin yan yung mismo solution. Okay? So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung process on how to graph a system of linear equation though yan pa man ay merong y-intercept na whole number or fraction. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!